guys, Xaltec here. In this video, I've got 10 tips to avoid getting hacked. So tip number one, when you're connected to a public Wi-Fi, say for example, a free Wi-Fi that is available in an airport or any other public place, please make sure not to access your credit card, banking credentials, or any other important data and websites through that public Wi-Fi because that might have been established by hackers to prank and steal all your data from you just by providing you free internet for a few hours. So it is also recommended to set up a VPN when you are connected to a public network and make sure to turn off sharing to keep your data secure when you are connected to a public network. Okay, tip number two. Don't click each and every URL that you get on emails and messages without knowing the actual source of those URLs because I have a personal experience on it. Two years ago, I got a message from a friend of mine saying that I've created a Google add-on page with my HTML and CSS skills. So I was really excited that my friend has made a great thing with all his skills. So I just printed into my room, opened my laptop and entered the web page that he gave me. And when I entered that, it asked me to enter login credentials. So I entered my email and password. As soon as I logged in, my account was hacked by my friend. So he sent me my email, the password which I entered and my public IP address. Everything was hacked just within a single moment. So if you get messages containing URLs like tinyurl, ng-rock or bit.ly, please don't click them without knowing their actual source. Because these are just good tools, they are URL sharpness, they can be used to shorten lengthy URLs, but they can also be used to hide pricing URLs with a different name. Tip number three, create unique and strong passwords for all your accounts. If you use a single password for all your accounts, then if one account can be hacked, then all of the remaining accounts can be easily hacked with the same password and also try encoding your password. Say for example, if you include a word Smith in your password, use dollar symbol instead of S or W instead of M, exclamatory mark instead of I like that, you create encoding by your own language so that it will be difficult for hackers to hack your password. And also make sure to have a lengthy password. A password containing eight characters is generally weaker than a password containing 16 characters. So include as many characters as you can. Tip number four, stay updated. Check for updates in each and every device you have at least once a week so that any new security vulnerability or any other severe issues found can easily be fixed by installing that update. If you don't check for updates, then hackers may be able to access your device easily. Tip number five. Okay, I've seen people who post in social media for at least once an hour, giving each and every status update in their life, saying, I'm brushing just now, I'm going to shopping at this time, returning home at this time, missing my home, going for a tour, going for a picnic, returning home this time. They give all their information not only to their friends and well-wishers, but also to hackers. So please make sure to change your privacy settings in each and every social media app that you use from public to enclosed number of people who are reliable to you. Tip number six, don't lend your devices to strangers. Say for example, if you're in a public place and someone asks you to help them by lending your phone for some time to make a phone call, please don't give your phone as they may be hackers and just within a second, they can extract all your data through network. And also don't get devices from strangers and specifically, please don't insert them into your devices. For example, a simple USB stick which contains malicious files can infect your computer or extract all your personal data just within a fraction of a second by running a malicious program. Tip number seven, please download and install apps only from reliable sources. If you download and install an app from an unknown source, that might lead to a malware attack or a security vulnerability which will help hackers to hack your device easily. So please make sure to download and install apps only from the official stores available for your corresponding operating system. Tip number eight, nearly 10% of the apps that appear on the web are malicious. Even when you click on them accidentally, that might lead to phishing websites and they can access your IP address just within a fraction of a second you enter into them. So consider using ad blocker to prevent such malicious ads when you surf through the internet. Those ad blockers are available as applications or extensions depending upon the operating system and the browser you use. Tip number nine, if your phone is lost or if you consider your phone is stolen, then the first thing you need to do is to delete the data on the phone or change the password immediately. In order to do that for Android phones, use the Find My Device app, which you can access by entering into android.com slash find website on any other device by logging into your Google account. Or for iOS devices, you can use the Find My iPhone app. 
In the Find My Device app, you can track the location of your phone or delete the entire data in your phone or replace your current lock screen with a new password so that it will be difficult for burglars to enter into your phone and steal your data. Tip number 10. Say for example you are doing an important project in your laptop or mobile phone and if you have some other work on the outside, you will leave the room keeping the device unlocked. By the time you are out, some intruders can enter into your room and steal the data from your laptop or mobile with a fraction of a minute. Please make sure to lock the device before leaving the room containing the device. You can also use the smart lock feature in Android and the Windows Hello feature in Windows which will automatically lock your device when you are away. So this is all about the video, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video then do consider subscribing to the channel. I am Deepak and this is Excel Tech. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,